And so you mentioned uh, the worship you participate in mm-hmm. uh, that happens at your house. Do you go to a, a church on Sundays? No, uh, we uh, sort of opted out of uh, institutional church. Actually, my husband and I sort of opted out of that like years and years ago. Doesn't mean that we don't go and visit or might not even like, um, you know, attend a church for, you know, a certain period of time. But um, the way the institutional church is set up is in a hierarchical way. And so you get this kind of pyramidal structure, uh, top-down hierarchy, and you've got the people at the top who, um, you know, the pastors or the, you know, denominational headquarters or whatever. And then they are the people who are to discern whatever's true and then the down to the little sheeple down on the bottom. And, you know, I don't think that that's originally the way church was supposed to happen. I think we were meant to, everybody has something, everybody, not just a pastor and not just a worship leader, but every single person has a gift of the spirit that is for the edification and upbuilding of the body of Christ. And if you have a group of, you know, even more than 50 people, how is everybody going to be able to contribute? It can't happen. It doesn't happen. So people have become spectator Christians. They're not engaged in the worship of God. And that is a huge problem in today's Christianity, as far as I'm concerned. So, uh, yeah, we don't do uh, big church anymore. We don't do that. Thank you. I, I love that answer. And I, I got to say, I largely agree with you, if not 100 percent agree with you. OK. Well, you know what? A home fellowship, I'll tell you, there's something new every week. And you always feel like the spirit is is guiding and directing and you can't, you know, you're not relying on a, you know, a bulletin with a program and, you know, we do this, this, this. Mm-hmm. And that. It's a like, ceremony. yes. And so sometimes, you know, we'll meet for eight hours. We always have a meal. We'll, you know, be in prayer and worship and the word and fellowship and share our needs. It's, I mean, it's amazing. Really, it's it's so exciting. and. To me, it's much more uh, fun to be a Christian in, in that setting than it is to go to church for an hour. Gotcha. Wow. That, that Yeah, that sounds really cool. Maybe you should do a video that <laughs> out, outlines how you do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just in the New Testament. <laughs> oh, okay. So now it is time for the portion of our show called Letters to the Church. <laughs> 